Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial on how to fix some sort of weird smudgy artifacts that you might get um, if you're using a Polygon 2D with a texture UV inside of it. Uh, so let's create our Polygon 2D, and then go over to Texture, and load our texture. So you can't see it until you apply the UV, so I'm going to click on the UV button in the menu up here, and then make sure I'm on points on the little pencil and then add my points to create my UV and I really don't need to be too accurate because this is just the demonstration of what you might see um, but there we go once I've surrounded my texture it will show up but as you can probably see there's sort of weird smudgy artifacts on some points of the texture and uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this so the reason that it exists is because in your image itself, the non-transparent pixels in the image are actually coming up right against the edge of the bounding box of the sort of PNG. Um, so if you take a look at the actual UV, you can see every point where the image touches the edges of that bounding box it will sort of stretch those pixels and give you those weird errors. So in order to get rid of that, you have to basically increase the distance between the edge of the image and the edge of the pixels in that image. So it really depends on what program you're using. In this case, I'm using Inkscape, so I'm just going to create another box and put it behind the image. And I'm going to make that box transparent and then group them together so that they'll be exported as one complete image. And you can see now that there's space between the sort of non-transparent pixels in the image and the edge of the bounding box, it's not gonna give us those sort of weird artifacts. So I'm gonna export this and import it into Godot and we'll check that out. All right, so here we are back in Godot. Let's add a, another polygon 2D. And this time we're gonna use the corrected texture. Go to texture load sprites there we go and you can't see it until you apply the uv mesh so points make our mesh doesn't have to be accurate because this is just for demonstration purposes okay and there we go so it was really frustrating to me to try to figure out why this was happening there were like a couple forum posts um, that I could find, but eventually I just thought about where the little smudges were occurring and they were always occurring right where the edge of the image, or rather the non-transparent pixels in the image were touching the bounding box. So if you just put some space between those pixels and the edge of your bounding box, um, none of those sort of weird smudgy artifacts should appear. And you might not even notice this because if you're using something like a sprite sheet and you have multiple sprites that are part of the same sort of image, depending on where those uh, actual pixels are in the overall bounding box of that sprite sheet, and you're you know, sort of dragging your UV or creating your UV polygon around those individual sprites, um, they might already be away from the edge, so you might not even notice it. But just in case you do, that's why it's there, and that's how you fix it. So hopefully that helps you out, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.